I tell people zero right? zero represent the creator. You know, in, in the beginning, you had zero. And the ending, you go back to zero. <laughs> zero. Zero is everything. You know. Before you get a dollar, you had zero. When you spend the dollar, you will end up with zero. You know what I'm saying? So, the universe was showing you, humble yourself. Because at the beginning, you didn't exist. No, you exist. If the beginning you didn't exist, and no, you exist, you go back to do existing. And it's, it's you to be good to the Creator. Uh, obey the Creator. Everything the Creator said to you, do it. Because you love that life. And you don't want to go back to zero again. You know, you want the Creator to have mercy upon you and give you a next life. Or put you in the next frequency. Which one? A frequency better than this one. So you do the things in life the Creator said to do. The Creator loves us. Because if you didn't love if you didn't love man and woman, you wanna put a thing we we could repent or we or we, we could ask for forgiveness. Because we're not perfect. The Creator know know us before He knows us more than ourselves. But if you analyze the thing, we treat the, we treat the Creator like zero when zero is everything so whether we treat the creator like the creator is nothing to us is everything to us because in the beginning we didn't have nothing we didn't have zero nothing and we're gonna go back at the end we're gonna go back having nothing zero so when you really check it out Zero. Zero is the beginning and zero is the ending. So that's why I choose that zero to represent the creator. Because at the end, zero cannot lose. Zero is, zero is the beginning and zero is the ending. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> zero could all... It could become something, and zero could go back becoming zero. <laughs>